What's up and welcome guys, it's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and I am in Singapore. So this is my first time here, just got off the plane less than an hour ago, dropped off the bags at the hotel and I have headed straight to one of the many famous hawker centers here in Singapore. This is the Chinatown Complex, a massive food court hawker center full of delicious foods. So we picked out a few things we want to try today and I'm really excited to eat. I'm super hungry. So let's go inside and start eating. So there's a few places, like I mentioned, that we do want to try today. And this is a massive hawker center. I'm not sure exactly if it's the largest, but it definitely has to be up there in the biggest of all in Singapore. And there is so much good food here. We took a quick walkthrough. It's about 3.30, and we found one of the stalls that we wanted to try, and they're serving a saute. So this is actually a Michelin star, one Michelin star saute. Apparently, it's some of the best you can get in all of Singapore, so I've been waiting a long time to try this. Each saute is 60 cents, and they sell them minimum of 10. So I got three different kinds, all the different kinds they have, which is mutton, chicken, and pork. And it's also served with some cucumbers and some onions. And also, I have something I've actually never tried before. This is called setupat, and it's sort of like a rice dumpling stuffed inside this woven um, palm leaves. And it looks pretty interesting, and apparently it pairs really well with the saute. And then, of course, the saute sauce, which is a peanut-based sauce. I'm not exactly all sure what's in there, but it looks and it smells really good, so let's dig into this. I'm not exactly sure what this kind I'm going to try first is. I'm guessing it's pork. You can actually see like meat and then fat and then meat and fat layered on there. These aren't very big, but they smell amazing. The aroma coming off them is just extremely smoky and a little bit spicy. So let's try that. Mm. I definitely think that was the pork kind. And there was fat in there, but you couldn't tell that was fat. That is ridiculously tender. I'm actually gonna chase that with one of these cucumbers. Mm. So I didn't dip it in the sauce that time, but it's also marinated in a sauce. There might be a little bit of peanut in the marinade because it does taste a little bit nutty, but it's just super smoky and just kind of like natural meaty pork flavor. And I think this is the mutton. It's got a darker color to it. And let's dip that in this sauce and give it like a full submersion. Oh. Look at that sauce. That has a very interesting texture to it. Consistency, it looks like definitely some crushed up peanuts in there. Okay, let's try that. Mm. Mm. Nutty from that peanut sauce. But also, maybe there's a little bit of sambal in there because it's quite spicy as well. Mm. These are awesome. I definitely gotta dunk that in the sauce again. Just check out the consistency of that. You can see like the crushed peanuts in there. Oh man, that's amazing. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Oh, I can't stop eating these. So the spot that we ordered from is called Lian He Benji Clay Pot and they are extremely famous for this clay pot. It is otherwise known as the Three Sisters Clay Pot. So the way that they made it is they just have stacks of these clay pots burning away and first the rice is added and for about 15 minutes they're periodically adding water to steam the rice and then about the last 5 or 10 minutes they will put all the toppings on and then let all those flavors mix in with the rice and should be nice and crispy on the edges of the clay pot. So let's look at this bowl and mix it up. 
So there's two different sauces provided. Well, the first one is oil. So I'm actually just gonna pour a little bit of that on. Should be good. And the second is this. This is like a black, dark soy sauce. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda dig in and grab there. Check out the size of this piece of chicken. First off, that is, a, that is one piece of chicken. There is so much going on in this bowl. So I'm just gonna try to get some of the kind of crusted rice. So I'm actually kind of chiseling away the rice from the sides here. And I should have gotten some burnt rice. I'm just gonna put that right on top of my bowl. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna dig into this now. Okay, so it has been completely smothered in that dark soy sauce, you can see it, and also massive pieces of chicken. And there's also some salted fish in here, she told me, and also Chinese sausage. I'm not sure exactly if I got a piece of that. Oh, it's so hot, but so good. That is a massive chunk of chicken. And that chicken is so tender and juicy. And that sauce, it's like a sweet, savory soy sauce. And then the burnt rice in there is amazing. Gives it like a nice crunchiness. I've got a piece of the Chinese sausage now. A small piece there. Let's try that bite. Okay, that is like a very sweet Chinese sausage. Also, let's try the salted fish. Small piece of the salted fish. Mm. Whoa. Extremely salty. It has a kind of like a, almost like pickled flavor. Wow, that is very salty. You kind of want to mix that in with all the rice. But really the highlight of this dish is those burnt pieces of rice. Okay, just finished off with that bowl of clay. Okay, just finished off with that bowl of clay pot rice, and that was phenomenal. All the different components of that bowl just made it delicious. So we were quite stuffed after that. I don't think we needed to get the $12 bowl. It was certainly enough rice for Sabrina and I. Probably two more people. But we're just gonna walk around the center, the food center now, look for something else to eat, and maybe walk down the street also and get the famous soy sauce chicken. So we just ordered up a very small snack before we head out for that soy sauce chicken. And this is something I've never had before. It's called chi kue. So it is these kind of like hockey puck size steamed rice cakes and then topped with preserved radish and then quite a bit of vegetable oil as well. And then on the side over here, we have probably like a sambal chili sauce. And let's try this out. I'm gonna get some of that preserved radish some of the chi kue. Oh, it's falling apart in my fork. Ah, it's super slippery. Okay, let's try this bite. Mmm. Mmm. So those preserved veggies on top are a little bit sour, but also like a little bit sweet. And it, it tastes very similar in texture and taste to wa gui in Taiwan. But it also kind of tastes like those radish are preserved with Something we sampled in Japan called sake lis, which is sort of like the leftovers when making sake. But uh, it's pretty good. That sambal sauce is spicy. Let's try another bite. Yeah, this is gonna be a spicy bite. Mm. Yeah, it actually tastes very similar to sake lis. So these are nice little snack, but they are quite oily. And that sambal sauce that she served it with is extremely spicy. I'm gonna go in for another bite. And this rice cake is just super smooth and creamy. Okay, let's try that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It is like very creamy and then sour from those preserved veggies. Let's go. Okay, tons of good food here at the Chinatown Complex Food Center. We had some amazing things, especially that clay pot rice and those saute. Those are amazing. Those Michelin starred 60 cents sautés. Definitely worth the price. So right now we are leaving the complex and we are heading down the street to the soy sauce chicken place. I'm really hoping we're gonna be able to find it and hoping that they are open. Thank you.
pie. We got the soy sauce chicken. That was quite a long lineup, and it was just ridiculously busy in there. So we're actually heading back across the street to the Hawker Center to sit down and enjoy our soy sauce chicken. Okay, we are sitting down now back at the Chinatown Complex Food Center to try the ever so famous soy sauce chicken. So this is dubbed the cheapest Michelin star food in the entire world. So for $3.80, at least at their new outlet, you can get the soy sauce chicken. It's a pretty decent amount of chicken and then on a bed of rice. So I'm not exactly sure, but the, the spot says Leo Fan soy, Hong Kong soy sauce chicken and noodles, chicken rice and noodles, but also says Hawker Chan. So I'm not exactly sure what the name is, but it's one of those. And it was absolutely ridiculous in there. So certainly the word has gotten out that this is a good spot, but I would recommend like we did to take out and then come across the street back over to Chinatown Food Complex Center and then go to the second floor. That's where all the hawker stalls are at. The first floor is mostly just like shopping and then all the seating area is upstairs. So we have come upstairs and we're going to taste this out. I hope it's gonna be really good. So we got some big juicy pieces of the soy sauce chicken. It may look uh, a lot, a little bit like the roast Cantonese duck or roast Cantonese chicken that you get, but this isn't roast. This is braised. It's a soy sauce and Cantonese spices. So it, it looks really good and it smells really good. Let's give it the taste test and see if it lives up to its name. So that is like a distinct Hong Kong or Cantonese flavor. Almost like star anise and cinnamon, but almost like a little bit licorice -y. And then savory from that soy sauce. But actually the chicken feels a little bit dry on the inside. I was expecting it to be a little bit more juicy, but it's actually quite dry. I'm gonna try another bite. Oh, the flavor in that skin, it's incredible. And I'm gonna try the rice, which has kind of soaked up all of the uh, juices and the soy sauce. Mm. 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 That is really solid, and for $3.80, that, that is a deal for sure. All right, there you are folks, the cheapest Michelin starred meal in the world. Certainly worth the $3.80. And I would totally recommend you to come to the Chinatown Complex Food Center. It is absolutely huge. There are so many hawker stalls here. There has to be hundreds of them. So if you ever have come here, and if you ever do come here, let us know what you had. If you had any of the same foods, tell us in the comment section. And we are going to be in Singapore for the next four days, making tons of videos. Stay tuned for those. The food here so far has been incredible. So make sure you subscribe and like. Leave me any questions in the comment box and I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.